right guys, welcome back to another episode of Video Game Pickups. And today, you probably noticed that there is a green screen behind me. And that is because we actually got a green screen slash softbox lighting kit. And it came with three softboxes and it came with this gigantic green screen. Honestly, it's so big that I, I don't really know what to do with it. It's taking up actually quite a bit of space in our basement, but um, you know, other than that, it's really cool. The soft boxes definitely help out with the lighting down here because the lighting down here is not the best. Um, just the house lighting, you know, it's very pretty dim fluorescent bulbs. So these soft boxes pump out a lot of light and it makes the videos look a lot better. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and we'll probably be using these in any video we do. For pickups though, we'll probably not be using the green screen too much. I'm just doing it now so that I can get some practice with the green screen before we use it for other things. And we'll probably film the pickups over there in the, you know, the corner that you guys are used to. So yeah, just wanted to try it out though. So I thought this would be a good video to do that with. So yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to add this stuff to our filmmaking gear and it's definitely gonna help out. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the pickups. And as you guys know, I'm collecting for the 3DO. So really all I have is 3DO games. Um, the only other thing that I have here is a Goodwill find that I'm actually pretty proud of. I got a, uh, a blue Xbox controller, original Xbox controller. And I have quite a few Xbox controllers, but they're all like the standard black. And it's nice to have this blue one because actually they're, they're around 20 bucks a piece for these. And I'm really glad to have it. Blue is my favorite color, so that's, that's another thing. And um, it was only four bucks, so really happy to have that. In fact, I think the other controllers were marked for five and they were just like the regular black ones. So glad to add that to the collection. It'll probably be my main original Xbox controller. And now we have the 3DO games. And I'm actually pretty happy with the stuff I've gotten recently. This is all from eBay though, obviously, because it's so hard to find 3DO games out in the wild. Um, but I'm hoping that we do find some at the PRGE. But the first and um, probably the most annoying thing, I mean, I'm glad to have these games in my collection, but the way this is packaged, it's cool, but it's very annoying, uh, which I'll get to later. But this is the 3DO Maniac pack, and it actually comes with four 3DO games. And um, they're all either Interplay or Universal Interactive games. Um, I think the only one that was actually like Universal Interactive was Way of the Warrior. I think the rest are all technically interplay. But um, yeah, these are actually, this is actually a pretty good collection. Has Out of This World, which is the main reason I got it. Also has Alone in the Dark, which I also want to play. Um, Battle Chess, don't really care about. And then Way of the Warrior I already have, and I actually don't like the game. But um, yeah, it's cool to have this. And why I say it's annoying is because it's actually taller than all the other 3DO boxes. If you look, this is a regular size 3DO box. And then this Maniac pack, it is slightly taller and it's got the hang tab still on it. So usually I have to like fold this down. I had to adjust all my shelves for 3DO to get this thing to even fit. So yeah, that was kind of a pain, but I think it's a really cool box. I think it's a cool, idea that they like put all these games into one uh you know just one package and you could just buy this so i'm really happy to have this actually you know considering two of the games i really wanted to play and i actually have played some of out of this world it's actually a really fun game i had never played it before uh so yeah i'm i'm enjoying it um i'll get to alone in the dark at some point battle chess i could care less about in way of the warrior i already have and i know i don't like it so yeah um, you know, it was about 60 bucks, but considering how rare it is, it's definitely nice to add to the collection. The next thing I got here is a sealed 3DO game, actually. And um, this is Balls the Director's Cut. Now this is, if you guys don't know, it was a game where basically all the sprites are like these balls. So all the, all the characters are just a bunch of ball sprites put together. And um, it's really a weird art style. It first came out, I think, on the Genesis. And then they released this director's cut for the 3DO with enhanced graphics and all that. And, um, you know, I, I, I really don't care to play it. So I'll probably just keep it sealed, considering how cheap it was. 
and um, you know it's not one of the rarer games, but it's nice to have it sealed. So um, I'm probably not going to open it anytime soon, just because I have no real interest in playing it. Talking about games, I have no real interest in playing. Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise. Now this is one of those 3DO edutainment titles, and um, you know I'm going for a complete collection, so I'm gonna have to buy them at some point. And I saw this one on eBay, and the seller had a couple other games that I wanted to get. So I went ahead and just decided to pick this up with the other ones. And it wasn't super expensive, although I'm kind of regretting the price I did pay for it. Not that it was a ridiculous, outrageous price. It was actually um, probably slightly lower than the, the usual asking price. But considering I'm not even going to play it, I, I probably would have waited off. But, you know, it was there. It was... It was an auction, so I went ahead and went for it. And considering the guy had other games I wanted, you know, I just went ahead. It's actually kind of cool, though. It's got this flip-out cover, which is kind of interesting. It's got, like, a bunch of other edutainment titles listed. So if, you know, if you wanted to buy more, you have some ideas of what they have. So, yeah, probably not going to play it, but, you know, nice to add you know, because I'm going to need it at some point. Next up here is Starfighter. This is a Studio 3DO game. And I actually am really liking the Studio 3DO games that are on the 3DO. So basically, it's like 3DO's version of first party. So, you know, Nintendo has their own first party studios that make all the Mario and Zelda games. Basically, that's what Studio 3DO was. Um, but they actually didn't make a ton of games. So it's kind of interesting that you know, they didn't quite make as many as you would think. Um, but they also made Killing Time, which I really enjoyed and I want to do a review on soon. So I'm, I'm hoping this one's good. It looks decent from the back and I've, I've heard uh, fairly good things about it. This next one here is a EA game and it is a Mercenary. And this one I got because it's actually supposed to be one of the cheaper games on the 3DO that's decent or at least half decent. Um, but it actually does look pretty good. It looks like a an RPG, but also a first-person shooter. It definitely looks interesting. And, you know, I've just heard that it's one of those better 3DO games. Um, but it's also, you know, not too expensive, which is nice. So I do want to play this at some point. It looks really weird, really wacky, but um, also it looks fairly decent. So can't wait to try that one out. And the last pickup for this video is actually one that I think is really cool. It's another Studio 3DO game, and um, it's got an interesting box, and that is Zadnost The People's Party. And um, this one looks to be a lot like Twisted, which was another 3DO game. It looks a lot like a game show, kind of, but this one's interesting because it's got, you know, kind of like a Russian theme to it. I, I really have no idea, but um, yeah, I got it because it was, I mean, it was kind of expensive. I mean, it depends on, you know, your definition of expensive, but it was for, I think for what it is, considering it's sealed, it's got this interesting box. It actually comes with a controller in it. And considering 3DO controllers are at least 15 bucks, it seems like, it's nice to have a free one. Um, and I do I want to play it? I kind of do. I'm kind of interested, but at the same time, I don't want to open it. So I haven't really decided yet. And considering there's a controller in there too, I'm really tempted to open it. But I don't even have that many multiplayer 3DO games anyway. But it is a Logitech 3DO controller. It's their second one that they did. Their first one is awful, but um, yeah, they the second one they did their revision. Um, it was branded as like an official 3DO controller, not like the Panasonic or the Gold Star ones. Um, but yeah, it looks like one of the better controllers. Um, I haven't been able to use it, obviously, but um, yeah, it, it makes me really want to open this. But at the same time, it's just so cool to have it sealed. I'm not sure. So that's that. And that is really everything, guys. I know it wasn't a lot, but... It was something, and I'm actually making quite a dent in the list of 3DO games I need to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like, and um, you know, if you're excited to see what we can do with the green screen and these, these soft boxes, um, I'm really excited to finally have some really decent lighting. So thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you all later.